Queensland house prices have been stagnant for some years, but the market seems to be turning. And there are a number of hotspots pushed up by more than just location. It's the great house rush. There's a lot of places we've gone to look at that actually sound again snapped up really quick. Buyers everywhere worried about missing out. And who can blame them? Property experts say we're headed for a high not seen in years. We're in the start of a boom. Um, it's been running for about six months. The good news, there are still plenty of good buys, especially on the Gold Coast. Prices on the Gold Coast are more affordable now than they've been for several years. Waterfront properties at entry-level prices, like this one at Benoa, the opportunity to make strong capital gains ahead of the Commonwealth Games. Southport, a mecca for savvy buyers. So you can buy yourself homes in the 300,000 bracket, a home such as this in Southport in a prime area, for less than 400,000. In Brisbane, there's been a 40% increase in sales, most within 8 to 12 kilometres of the CBD. Still relatively affordable compared to those areas closer to the city, but they still have that benefit of being, um, you know, within close commuting distance. Among the cheapest suburbs for houses, Nathan on the south side, Rockley, Capera, Chermside West and Virginia. Zilmere and Holland Park West are also cheap for units. Other affordable areas include Redcliffe, Logan and Ipswich, traditionally slower to take off, but new infrastructure and transport projects will help. In some areas, job opportunities will drive growth. Here in Springfield, a new multi-million dollar business hub will be finished by 2015, bringing more than a thousand new workers to the region. For buyers and sellers, promising times ahead. Just get in now. There's a lot of competition. Ebony Cavallaro, Nine News.